Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Field. Today we're going to talk about rate and level. I want you to start thinking about these very important characteristics of sound because they're very important in the quality of your recording. They're very important in the quality of your playback. If it's a two-channel system, they're real critical in voice. So I want you to try to stop, stop what you're doing a little bit and, and accepting things and think through each thing that you're doing. So level, we know that's our starting frequency. If it's 40 hertz, if it's 50 hertz, it's 60 hertz, whatever it is, okay? If it's male voice in a vocal room, it's 90 cycles, let's say, for conversational purposes. So yes, they vary, but let's use that as our start point. Now the rate is how much and how fast we absorb or reduce that starting point, okay? So different rooms, different usages are going to call for different rates and levels of absorption. Now in the low frequency area, it's always been the philosophy, get as much as you can. Absorb as much as you can, as fast as you can, because you have such a big problem in a small room, you're never going to solve it. So you want to get as much rate at that level to deal with the problems in small room acoustics. That's kind of true. Okay, can you get too much? Well, I haven't seen that yet. You know, even rooms that we build where we build the low frequency management into the ceiling, the walls, and the floor, we still have a few issues. They're noticeable. I can hear them, of course. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't uh, create a problem for people, but this is the argument for getting the right balance between size and volume and usage. So we know that. The frequency and the amplitude or the strength of that sound is important. We want to know how big it is. You know, some of you out there have 40 cycle, 50 cycle, 60 cycle problems because you tell me that's where they're at when you send them in on our room form or you call me on the phone. I got this big bump at 60 cycles or I got this big bump at 63. That's a big one always. Well, that's eight foot ceiling related. So. We know then that the frequencies are converted into octave bands, which are reflected in the picture we take of the sound in our room. So you can see in the, octa in the RTA, the octave band staying a little bit longer than the rest of it. Well, that's a room mode. So how much of that octave band do we got to reduce to get it in line, so to speak, with the rest of the room sound? So. It's all dependent on usage. There's not one rate and level that's going to fit all room usages. Control, live voice, they're all going to be different. And they're all going to be different, and they're all going to be subjective. So one engineer's choice on voice may not be another engineer's choice. So it just depends on what you're doing. One engineer genre, rap versus classical, is not going to be the same. So this is the subjectivity of all of this. So if you start listening for rate and level combined with, you know, a tool, a teaching aid like an RTA in real time. When I do listening just for myself personally, I have an RTA right by my chair. Because I want to know when I hear something what it's doing in the room, how the room is interacting with it, how fast it goes away, how long it stays, okay? even after treatment. So if you start to tune yourself to this idea of rate and level, you'll become a better listener. You'll become a better engineer. And those are good things to strive for. Hope this helps. Look for rate and level in all the problematic issues that you have in the room. And I think you'll start to understand how all this all works together. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.